Okay guys, so here again on Terry How channel on YouTube. So in the previous video, I have shown about how to trigger an ease access gesture on on Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus because the phone is a large screen display. It's a 5.99 inch display, so it's almost like 6 inch. But due to the phone is too big and also the phone design actually look kind of basilless, almost basilless. And all you can have is just like an, a, a phone with an entire screen, edge to edge, almost edge to edge. And you can see, you can notice that there is a button down there. So that is a problem. You know, it, it's kind of problem because the phone is actually almost basilless. And why do you make a phone basilless? Because you want to get rid of the button and you want to make a large screen and the entire screen display on the phone. But actually, you have the button down there. So, on Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus with the Mi UI 9.5, you actually can get rid of that button so that it make the phone look the entire screen with no button after all. And there is some amazing gesture that allow you to, you know, multitask, swipe back, swipe, you know, turning back, return back, return to home, return to the other the any other app or getting out of any app so i am going to show you how to get rid on the bottom down there the home button back button and even multitask button so i will show you how to get rid of it so first of all if you got a xiaomi phone on mi ui 9.5 first of all you go to setting here you land on setting and then you jump straight ahead into system and device here you can see the word system and device and down there there will be a full screen display so tap on it so when you tap on that you will see that the word button and the word full screen gesture so what button is it's that when it is enabled it will be show the three button down there the multitasking home screen and home button and even a back button but when you switch to full screen gesture it get rid all of the button down there as you can see there's a pop-up pop-up window and say that if you want to learn some gesture or if you don't want to learn or maybe you already know how to use it you can just type on not now or maybe learn if you want to learn it so for me i'm gonna type on not now so here i am get rid of the but the button down there so now there's a some gesture that you would like to know first of all you want to return back to home well, if you want to immediately return back to home, you can just swipe from the bottom up. Just a swipe like that. Okay, now you return home. So, for example, if you're already inside this and you want to return home but don't really want to swipe it up, maybe you want to back to the setting. So now you're in storage and you want to go back to setting. Just swipe from right to from the left to right at the edge of the screen or maybe from the right to left at the right side right edge at side of the screen for example let's see i will swipe from the left edge side of the screen from left to right okay like that you will see the button showing up like that so it's gonna be turned back to setting so how about multitasking multitasking you can jump into multitasking by swipe from the bottom up and hold there for a little bit like that and it will be in multitasking so just like the way you use the gesture on iPhone 10, well, iPhone 10 also have such a gesture like that because they get rid of the home button, so there's no button anymore to touch. So you can you you only have to swipe gesture like that. So this is the Mi UI swipe gesture that allow to get rid all the button down there and giving you another gesture to go to multitasking or home home screen without even using the button. So this is how it works. And so this is all about it. And I think you're gonna enjoy this video. Also, if you're a Mi UI, Mi Xiaomi phone user, I'm sure you pretty love this. So to me, I really much appreciate appreciate this, this gesture. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe for upcoming video in the future. And bye for now.